What is up, you lovely, beautiful people? How are you guys doing today? Hope you're doing well. Thanks for tuning in to another video. This may be coming from the archives. It may not be. Who knows when you're watching this? But I'm here in Budapest, Hungary. Pretty close to the road there. Look, there's a road. Uh, currently on the bridge. Uh, I thought I'd spend a little bit of time. Just, just let me just... There you go, that looks better. Better time heading into this island. Big giant park island. No cars. Big cycle route, paths. I'll just go for a cruise really. Enjoy my last day here in Budapest. So, thanks for tuning in. Let's, uh, let's get this underway. Whoop. Look at it, still rocking. Say so still, I only got put these on yesterday. The V10 pedals. Oh, so I got on the bridge and I need to be that side of the bridge to um, to get on onto the island. Apparently there's a big, a big, uh, you know, other little bridge, mini bridge, big ramp that takes you onto the island there. Yeah, a friend recommended it to me yesterday, you know, because we our company of 60 we don't all hang out together on our days off a lot of the time I hang out either me or Mika or a couple of friends really or m most of the time it can just be myself get a bit of kneel time you know um, and she sort of recommended recommended the park I did check it out yesterday but there's no point in filming it because it was dark uh, after I filmed that last one I just went for a cruise got a bit lost and I thought today I make use of the little bit of time off I have before we only have one show today so I'm not in till 2 p.m. which is awesome so I've still got a couple of hours see if we can get past these big lads Whoop. All right, so we're going to go this side of the bridge. I wasn't sure where to start this one. Also, there is a very good chance you might be watching this, you know, months apart from when I'm shooting this here in April. April in Budapest. Oh, it was a good week, Neil. It was a good week. Such a lovely city. Um, didn't check out my original one uh, go check that one out I'm not sure what I've not actually edited it yesterday because I shot it yesterday um, it'll be along the lines of probably the V10 ped first impressions on the V10 pedals whilst I'm cruising around Budapest Hungary <laughs> yeah I thought I'd uh, shoot a video for the archives just because there's going to be quite the break coming up shortly in the next like five weeks or something so I want to make don't want to leave you guys hanging because uh, I'm going to be without a wheel for a little bit not sure how long I am playing with the idea of getting one that I could possibly travel but you know I'm not sure not sure it's just more money isn't it especially it'll just be a little small wheel and I may as well just wait and hang out for either the new purchase in September or we just wait just hang out or maybe I could hire one one of those people in Melbourne <laughs> yes <laughs> slapping the base yeah this is beautiful so no cars apparently there were no cars last night um, oh yeah, and today's Easter Sunday, so there's probably more and more people out today, and what, what a day for it as well. Look at this flipping futuristic thing. Great. Let's go check out the uh, crazy water show thing. What are people are swimming in it. Certainly good weather for it. <laughs> oh, 
Wow, busy. Very busy. Okay. Let's mosey on through. Oh, I'm glad I've come back actually. That's a that's a thing with the wheel. It's not just a oh pop you down. It's not just a means of transport to get you from A to B. It really is just a a fun activity to do. You know? That's what that's probably one of the main reasons I love it as well. Yes, I use it to get from A to B and it's good to commute with and stuff and move around and whatever, see the city. But at the same time, <laughs> hello. At the same time, I really need to sort this mount out. It's bloody crazy. I'm going home in two weeks, so I've got loads of those GoPro mounts at home. Uh, so I'll pick one up then. For future videos, for next week maybe, oh no, after for Russia probably, or Copenhagen. Yeah, you know, like today, like many other EUC enthusiasts, um, I, w I guess the same would apply for if you love your electric skateboard and electric scooter, really. You now these people here, there's so many of these big fat wheel, not the segways, these big fat electric wheel things here, look, just going for a cruise on them. Loads of them for rent. Very cool. Like Central Park, really. Getting some lux, guys. Getting some lux. I'm like, yo, what is this guy on? From Back to the Future. Oh, this is the future. People just don't know about these electric unicycles. Oh, man. Oh, what a beautiful day. So important to get your sunny D whilst you can, you know. You know, yeah, these things are pretty cool. Me, uh, I was thinking about hiring one for my brother was out uh, earlier this week. That 20 euros for an hour. They seem to be struggling though. They don't seem to be going very fast. Whew. So this is where I'd love to have more of a powerful wheel. Maybe by by time you you know I might pop, I might pop inland inland a little bit we'll go in on the next one i reckon this will just do a full loop um yeah maybe the time of this release of this video i might already have a nice new video uh, new video <laughs> new wheel yes yeah, so i've been thinking i'm gonna there's some announcements to be made um for how i see this channel progressing. I still want to do these style of videos, um, but obviously the niche or the niche of these videos is you get to see me and listen to me chat and breeze whilst uh, riding around a whole new city every single week. Um, but that will be coming to an end very soon. But that's not to say I can't provide other interesting rides around different parts of where I'll be located. Um, cool. Little hill. Woohoo! <laughs> yeah. So that's where I think a bigger wheel, more of a chunkier wheel, will come into practice, come into practice, come into play. Ooh! <laughs> Oh my, whoop, slippy. Getting on the grass. Uh, with my new soft pedals. So soft. <laughs> That's a cool bloody tree, isn't it? 
Wow. Very nice. That is an awesome, awesome tree. Get a little uh, pull away shot on that bad boy. <laughs> Very cool, I like it. Let's go and land a bit more. Ah, oh, cruise session. Oh, okay, so this is the other side of the little mini island. It's a cool looking dog. Those dogs are cool, aren't they? <laughs> Okay, it's got a proper running track, it's actually a little bit soft. Markers. Love it. Exercise, sunshine. Healthy body, healthy mind. That's what we're talking about. Health is wealth. That's uh that's definitely number one mantra saying quote belief philosophy. Simple, health is wealth. Without your health, you got nothing. <laughs> Watch out, pigeon. Oh, we actually got some buildings on here. Interesting. Ah, oh, the weather is glorious. Ah, uh, watch out. Watch out for these little kitties. Oh, it's my eyeball. Yeah, I guess we'll just follow this around. See where it takes us. Just had me a nice, super strong, like delicious, textury, flavoursome coffee from a, some, I can't remember what it's called, called Melbourne style coffee. And that's where I don't actually live in Melbourne, the city of Melbourne, but I live not too far from it for Australian standards anyway. And Melbourne or Australia as a whole, in my humble opinion, maybe because I was brought up on coffee not that long ago from drinking it in the city, cities around Australia. Yeah, Australian coffee is just so damn good. You can always find a good coffee in Australia without fail. It's very rare you've come across a rubbish coffee. Anyway, that's where my love for coffee, my love, <laughs> my addiction. I'm not addicted, what are you talking about? It's balanced. So yeah, I went, went there, got myself a nice little morning brunch coffee um, which is good so tasty oh, don't really have a lot to say today um, I feel very relaxed here such a beautiful city been such a busy week um, out of my routine have you ever find that that when you're in your routine, nothing wrong with routine, of course. But if you're in your routine for too long, time, your relationship with time, it flies. I'm going to jump off here, get onto the road. Whoop. Yeah, your relationship with time just flies by, doesn't it? Before you know it, you start like start the work week, for instance. You're just grinding, earning your pennies, doing your job. And before you know it, it's the weekend or your time off. Get a bit of time off and then back to it. Time just flies by. Ooh, pond. Let's have a look. Time flies by during uh, a routine. So it's very important to break that the habit of the routine. And you see, you know, when you do it, it's the same amount of time. We all get 24 hours in the day, right? 24 hours and we all choose 
how we uh, live those 24 hours. So, you know, of course, we're to sleep. But how many of those hours are you allocating to yourself? There's turtles. Big guys, too. Getting a bit of sun bacon like that. How the big dudes on the top. And then they're sort of smaller on the edges. King of the castle. Little fishies. I don't know if you can see that. There's a school of fish there. Big turtle. Tortoise. Turtle. It's a turtle, isn't it? So, yeah. When you step out of your routine, your relationship with time changes. And time seems to go slower. I'll just sneak past here. Um, so I urge you to organise your time so that you make the most out of it. I don't know, we've all got commitments to our work and that sort of stuff, as do I. You know, I easily fall into the trap of doing my shows and just sticking and sitting inside the venue and in between shows that little bit of time that I have off my routine is literally to sit down get some food jump on you know I was I'm feeling so much better if you've watched in my recent videos I've been sort of detoxing on the old social media there um, but allocate to what I'm not I'm not getting off it completely I'm just allocating time to it so instead of just sparingly jumping on and getting lost and plugging into Instagram, YouTube, whatever your preferences are, I've just allocated time in in my 24 hour slot so you pie chart it um, and yeah you do like maybe all right, I'm going to do YouTube for one hour today rather than doing two or three hours of it or two or three hours of random getting lost in just crap so you're more aware of the choices that you make because you've only allocated so much time anyway time it's important it can fly by or it can go really slow and I do find that when you break the habit of routine you feel like you've just been given this extra time where really it's exactly the same you're just doing something different with it so yeah urge you to break the habit break your habits of routine here and there and uh, yeah maybe look at pie chart in your day you know like today I've allocated this time before a show before I go back to work to make sure I can go out shoot this video I get quite a lot from these videos. I get to talk about my findings, like this time stuff. I be I actually read this book by Jesse Eatsler. He uh, he, <laughs> he lives with these uh, monks up in north uh, north of New York State, New Jersey, New New York State, I think. Anyway, he lives with them for 15 days, and he talks about how he feels and what he got from his experience and that sort of stuff really great read i certainly recommend it go check it out um oh back to the tree again so yeah it's nice for me to talk about my little findings and try and implement them into my day-to-day -day. you know because you can read all these books and listen to these podcasts and watch these videos but until you actually put it all into practice in the real world in real life situations because that's where the work is isn't it you can watch all the tutorials in the world and quick fix things and whatever else take this there's no magic pill there's no thing you can just upload into your brain like Keanu Reeves in the Matrix I know Kung Fu there's none of that yet <laughs> So until that happens, you've got to implement it slowly into your life. So yeah, time is it's important, man. He uh, one thing that really resonated with me is he 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 basically says that 
he only sees uh, his parents are still alive they're like in their 80s or something and he sort of predicts um, that say they live another five years okay so if you, your parents are still alive or you know your your brothers or sisters or people you want to hang out with but you don't live with them or maybe you do live with them like you live in the same area but you only get to see them once a week because you just don't allocate any time to see them or be with these people that you really love and want to be with so anyway he says his parents for instance he sees them twice a year twice a year he'll go down they live in florida um so if they're only going to be alive you know they're pretty old that's only 10 more times he's going to spend with them so when you put it like that and i put it into relationships between myself and friends and family who because i tour and i'm always moving around you know and the time that i take to see these people it really put it into perspective for me so i'm consciously going to make changes i have been making changes already to make more of an effort to you know adopt that and spend more time with the people that really inspire me and the people that i love and want to be around more and more so think about it you know i might this video might just come out now because this is some good good stuff good knowledge i'm spitting at you and it's better to be out there now rather than later yes yeah, so if you've got friends and family or people you just because you know I, I know people who live in the same city as each other and you just don't spend much time with them because you're so busy or you think you're busy or you're stuck in these routines of coming home from work and you just don't allocate time even people on the show this tour like I share the same hotel room with people and I'll go back to my room and I just won't do anything you know, I spend a lot of time with my partner Mika who's on the show with me which is the best so happy that we can do that together um, but anyway you get what I mean that's the, the idea behind it time it's important and we all get those 24 hours every single day the, the clock resets um, so yeah draw up a little pie chart of your day and I mean I didn't come up with this I mean I've probably heard this before but this is literally me passing on the info from that book I read recently it's a really short book short read I recommend it go check it out um, yeah oh we're back to the fountain so I think I've covered the whole island now Ah, oh, cruising. I love floating about. Floating about. Hoverboarding up to the max. You know what? After almost, after close to one year, looking back on that day when I first set my eyes on an electric unicycle, whoo, telling you it was love at first sight. I knew I could just see. It didn't take me long to analyze and see all the benefits of an electric unicycle in my life and certainly those the lives of other people who have decided to adopt an electric unicycle lifestyle have just been just been increased <gasps> oh flipping hello that was a big curb but thanks to my new v10 pedals managed to Ride that bad boy out. This is ridiculous. Sorry about this angle at the bottom here. Yeah, it's pretty rubbish. Oh, so, okay. So it goes a little bit further up here. That's cool. Oh, what a beautiful day. How many times have I said that? Like five? Hey, sausage dog. Hee <laughs> hee. Oh, it's about sausage dogs on this tour. So many sausage dogs. Bloody love it. Let's go down. Wee. Oh, so the running track goes all the way around. <laughs> ah, it's funny how these videos turn out. You know, my. 
Oh yes, a little workout park. Whoa, it's windy. Whoa, hello, oh my word. What a great space for a park. Look at that right on the corner there. Oh, a lot of pollen knocking about. Oh, and the eyeballs. Whew. I can't see. We're in a blizzard. Help me. <laughs> and we're out. We're out. We're almost out. Yep. Hold on a minute. Is there a timer here? I wonder how, uh, how long this loop is. I don't know. We've got a bit of info. Bang on. Well, one minute past 12. 22 degrees Celsius. And it's 22%. Of something, humidity maybe? I don't know. Right, now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna cut in, go back through the blizzard, and uh, oh, you know what? I think we can go through that school there. Ugh. Turning on the dime. Is this a school? What is it? I don't know, we're not in it. Oh, sweet little sports field. What do you reckon? Stairs? Nah, let's, uh, <laughs> let's go up this hill. Woohoo! Ah, oh, epic! How good are these things? I love them! Oh, I was gonna pop up this curb, but after last time, it's just as easy just to go down a hill. Uh, yeah, boy! <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right, you bloody lovely, beautiful people. Thanks again for tuning in. Right there, let me like uh, stand you. That pedal look is still like whoop, whoop. the little um, the little washer, 3D printed washer just wasn't big enough. I was on this side, it is, and I put the washers at the front on both sides so that the pedals are further forward. Little added edge, extra little fun fact there. I think it's helped a lot. Okay. Oh no, the camera's not working. After all that. Oh well. Let me take this off. Oh no, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. This is, this is close, isn't it? Real close. Let me see if we can get a little bit of a. Uh... There we go. Bit distance. Cause I've got the microphone plugged in on here. Hello, can you hear me? Maybe that's better. Oh, turn it up. All right, guys, thank you so much for tuning in to another video coming at you from Budapest. We'll see when this gets released. A little bit of knowledge there. I feel like it's nice to share. Um, our relationship with time is important. Go spend the time with the, peop the people that you love and you want to surround yourself with more. Uh, break the routine. Um, and maybe we can spit some more knowledge from the things that I'm reading and passing on to you. So until then, take it easy, live, laugh and love, ride safe. And I'll see you in the next video. Peace. Wow.